Hi, welcome to this little short Dylan Rounds video. I actually was in the process of making another video for tonight, but I felt due to the length of the video, it's more valid for it to be uploaded another day, okay? I have learned, I have adapted. When I did the three videos in one night, it was a disaster. The videos were most important, but the outcome and the reach was somewhat of a failure, as you remember. And for the noise and disruption, it wasn't great. So, tone it down this time round. But there will be another key video coming out very shortly, probably tomorrow. Okay, so be on the lookout for it. Okay, we're, <laughs> we're almost like branching into the end of this video before we've begun. Okay, but I said it's a short video, right? What I do want to say is, if you haven't already, make sure to watch my earlier video I uploaded today. It was of a new whip and a review of it. I whipped Stony Senseless. If you'd like to see that for whatever reason, there will be a link down below in the pinned comment section. Make sure to watch it. As well, later on tonight, there is still a live video premiere main video, a Mother's Day special suggested by Watcher of Crazy and many other things, okay? So we'll see how that goes. Be on the lookout for it. It's around 8.50 p.m. UK time, same time as usual for the most part of it. So be on the lookout for that. If you wish to set the notifications, it might help with, you know, being punctual on time more so. But as for this video, just want to give a little heads up, okay? I was going to refer to comments as well, but that might drag on as for a short video. So I need to keep it somewhat, you know, level, the length of it, not too excessive. I can actually incorporate the comments of the last True Dylan Rounds video I did in maybe the next video or the video after that, okay? So it's all under control on the spot. When I was just trying to do a short video now, I was thinking, oh, I'll do that video, I'll incorporate this, and I'll incorporate that to try and do a short video, but I end up finding out it's probably like 20 to 30 minute long videos, which is still pretty long, to be honest, but still significantly shorter to what I normally do. So maybe it could be a, like a mini series at times when it comes to Dylan Brown's coverage, right? On a smaller scale. Yeah, I'll take that into mind. So comments next time round. As of right now, as a heads up, want to say that regarding the wash I looked at previously or around the area, from what a couple of people have said, possibilities, bang on, nail on the head, accuracy, again, again. So there'll be a video coming probably shortly in an appropriate way with specific wording and a title. So be on the lookout for that video as well to do with the wash and the tracks, okay? It's got to be done in a particular format in a serious way. Hopefully you'll understand, okay? Some will already understand, so shout out to them. So yeah, there's that video coming, then the video what I made tonight, which will be coming tomorrow, yeah. Did a video last night as well, because I didn't do a proper true video last night, but I did one last minute at, you know, in the middle of the dark, in a shed. So if you're interested in watching that as well, there'll be a link down below in the pinned comment section. Um, I'll also provide a link, if possible, to the live premiere tonight, but that'll be posted a bit later. It depends how long it takes to upload which video, because this is probably in a live video premiere format as well, just so people can randomly join on in. And if I get the timing correct, you'll be able to transition from one live premiere to another, like what we did last time. Last time I did it, although it was a bit of a failure in terms of transitioning on from one video to another, that was smooth as fuck, okay? Might not be quite the same this time, but you know, why not? So um, yeah, just a quick little heads up. New whip. Yeah, you only saw a little glimpse of it. You want more? You want more of it? You want to see more? you got to click on the right videos to find out, right? So anyway, you're going to know. But yeah, Dylan Rounds, there are still videos, okay? Still videos to be covered. And obviously, day by day, or for quite some time, which people may not know, quite a lot of the videos I have made, a fair few of them, 
have been made on the spot, right? I've woken up and sometime throughout the day, right, what do I do? What do I do? That's what it's like. What do I do? And then I've got to try and think and think practically, realistically and validly, right? So it's kind of on the spot. Sometimes I will have a notepad on, on um, my phone of what I could do next or how things could follow. It's normally useful that for like when you've got a handful of videos and you've got to try and work out the levels of importance and significance and which one flows with one another. You do it in a certain order, it's easier to follow, right? Maybe other humans don't think that through on their channels, but that's what I do at least on mine, right? Video what I did last night, short story to do with Bob Farrell. He watched it, so that's good. I wasn't able to tag him. I, Bob did leave his username down below in his tag section or something, whatever you call it. I did originally type that in and I typed in his username. I typed in everything and YouTube wouldn't recognize it. I do remember now, but it just doesn't quite make sense. But then again, it might make sense. It depends how you look at it. So basically, when it comes to tagging someone, mentioning someone where you do the at symbol and then type in person's username and then it will auto detect and come up with the channel of your choosing. You select it and then it's imprinted on the title or description of the video. You post the video and once that video is public or live, whichever, the person that was mentioned will get a notification in the bell symbol. You click on it and then you're notified and you can check the video out if you wish to. Some people have tagged me over time, so that's good and it works, right? But when I've tried it with people, it doesn't always work. At one point, it didn't work with Girl Ryan, but it does again now. It stopped working for Stony, but then it started working again, but now it's not working again. Um, and maybe a couple of other people in between. Now, YouTube said you have to have over 1,000 subscribers to be able to tag someone in a video. Okay, I have heard that in the past, but I'm sure there was a point where I was able to tag Stony, and she had nowhere near 1,000 subscribers. Um, I'm, I was able to tag, and I still am able to tag Bella V, and she doesn't have 1,000 subscribers. She might be nearing to the mark, but she doesn't officially have 1,000 subscribers from at least what I last saw of, yet I can still tag. So I don't know why YouTube would be saying, oh, you know, you need to have a certain requirement to be able to tag people when I can do it when people haven't met the threshold. It's a bit dodgy, right? Um, I think maybe if people have changed their usernames, that could impact it possibly. If someone's username is very generic, yeah, basic bitch, then YouTube seems to detect too many other YouTube users with similar names that, you know, the one you actually want doesn't show up on the screen. So sometimes it's good to have a unique username, right? But then again, there's other times where people might have alternative font, right? Alternative text, kind of like me. That's why if people try tagging me, it might not always work. What, you're, what you have to do, I think, is copy and paste my username and then mention me because I've got custom text, okay? That's why people can't always respond to me in the live chats. Some people could, like a person called Michelle who's missing in action for some time now, she copied and pasted my username and pasted it next to the at symbol so it detected me. What other people have done, like Gorilla Jack and Wheelby and some of us, I think they've done the at war like Raph, W L W, and that works itself. Because nowadays, what YouTube have implemented is a tag line, a tag feature, a label, a handle. I think that's what it was called, a YouTube handle. So alongside with your channel username, where you can mention that username in a post, a video, it can work, but maybe it might not always. With the use of the handle, which is basically at, insert, custom text, custom name of your choosing, you type it in, or it picks it by default, which it's probably the case with most people who don't know what a handle is. It's automatically assigned to you. It's just simply, basically, 
another format of being able to reach out to people by mentioning them in videos. I guess the handle is more unique, so it should be easier to find those people when reaching out to them, like a collaboration, right? Hopefully that makes sense there. I think that's about it. As said, make sure to leave some comments down below. It could be about Dylan Rounds, it could be about this video, it could be a question, just list it down below so we just keep the consistency. And feel free to check the links out as well, which are down below in the pinned comments to my previous video and my upcoming video. Thanks for watching, I'll see you later. Goodbye for now.